Tell Sarah that you slept down here because of your stinky feet, okay? Whatever you say. Just go along with it. No point upsetting her as well. So you're going to the prison today then? What's it to you? Oh, we've been like that, are we? Very mature. Oh, you can talk, Pete. Debs! You know I have my reasons. If I'm fucking my granddad. Framing your brother is pathetic. You just stay away from them both today. And what's pathetic is you lying to me. I'm not in the mood for this. Just give me some space, yeah? Typical. The only morning she goes back to sleep and now I've got to wake her again for nursery. She'll be fine, don't worry. She won't. She'll be clingy and whingy. It's totally the wrong start. Uh, she's a baby. I'm sure they won't hold it against her. This isn't funny, Rakesh. And if Kieran wasn't up all night with his latest piece of totty, that might help. Hey, don't make a big deal of it, okay? Oh, so it's perfectly acceptable to have random girls in my house, is it? I'm picking my battles. He's got a mass exam tomorrow, for which I'm sure he's done no revision. <sighs> Morning. Morning. And? Does your friend have a name? Yeah, uh, it's uh, Ellie. Your baby's really gorgeous. Yeah, we might have woken her up. Wrong door to the bathroom, sorry. Why don't you make uh, Ellie a coffee? No, she's uh, got a shoot college. Well, I'm not in that much of a hurry. Yeah, you are now. Probably best. No passion killer like revision. Yeah, bus comes in five. Well, it was really nice to meet you. Bye. Stay for breakfast next time. I could hook up again tomorrow when you're not as stressed. Yeah, uh, things are looking pretty busy, but uh, the bus stop's over there, so. Bye then. Hey, no, what, hey, what? That's not very friendly, is it? I mean, I'm not going to deserve a kiss at least. But... Wow, um, okay, so you'll text me later then? Yeah, sure, come round. Today? I, I guess I could skip my afternoon revision. It's only general studies, yarn. <laughs> Whenever. Well, maybe I can help you revise instead? I gotta go. Eating out for breakfast now. I think Rachel's a bad influence on you. <laughs> we promised him if he got up dead early and did his time to tables before school. Right, so work out this bill then. That's easy. £1.50. £1.50, <laughs> right. Multiply it by 12, divide it by your shoe size. Mm -hmm. Eh? Oh, you know me. Now, Carly's blowing my mind with the financial projections. Honestly, anybody thinks she's running Microsoft, not selling loo rolls and spuds. <laughs> Boss to give us your mail. <laughs> Proper letter. Well, it's not a bill. Um, probably something to say and have one of free holiday or some rubbish. Is it a holiday? Where to? It says I have to go to a mediation for Archie. I, I thought we were over all this. A what? To discuss child residence for Archie Breckle. He's actually doing it, Sam. He wants him full time. But Archie lives with us. I know he does love, and he's going to stay that way, I swear. I'm not splitting the four of us up again. Yeah, well, we'd best speak to Jim then. Tell him he can stick his meat in. Right, you. Don't miss me too much. Yeah. Might drop by later. Yeah, well, text me first. I might be on a roll with my chiller displays. Hey. <laughs> what? Good time at your girlfriend's, then. Yeah, cracking, actually. She put out, and you wouldn't. You are such a moron. No, you ran out on me. Straight back to Pete like a good little wifey. Yeah, and I'm glad that I did, if that's what happens, Ross. Oh, so what were my other options? I wish you'd tell me, Debs, because I'm, I'm so confused. Just tell my dad I'm doing the books at home. Oh, yeah, that's right. Go on, walk away until you want to start something up again. Because that is what's happening here. I'm not dreaming it. Shut up, Ross. What are you so scared of, Debs? Not you! So don't flatter yourself. I hope there's no mouldy apple cores under your bed. Oh, you didn't say to clean this. Mm, I don't think Daddy's going to be looking under there. Edna reckons I should blitz the whole house in his honour. I know it was just done a couple of days ago, but it's a good displacement, if nothing else. Will he definitely be here when I get back? As definite as hospitals can be, so... 
Keep everything crossed. <laughs> Why don't you go and wait by the gate? Don't forget your coat. About you asking Marlon to check up on me. Well, he was picking April up anyway. No, it's fine. Honestly, I get it. We can't risk disrupting Arthur anymore, not after all he's been through. Yeah, and I haven't exactly given you much reason for you to trust me, but he will do. Hopefully sooner than you think. Oops. Who are you hiding from? I'm doing the invoices. So you and Pete sorted now? It's not that simple. You back him into a corner, what do you expect? Leave it, Dad. Why is it with you and dodgy fellas, eh? I don't know. Maybe it runs in the family. I should ask Mum what she ever saw in you. Me and your mum were a bad combination. It took more for me to realise that. Oh, please. Saint flipping Moira was copying off with you behind her husband's back. She doesn't play games. Mess with my head. Wind me up so much that I want to kill her. Does that sound familiar? Look, I know you think you've got something with Ross. But trust me, it's not worth the aggro. Pete, he's good for you. He's reliable, he's a grafter, he's great with the kids. You treat him like an idiot and he's gonna walk. Don't let him. Well, in. somebody has got to. You are having doubts, aren't you? I never said that. You need to make your mind up who it is you want. And preferably before you walk down that aisle. Is it still D-Day? Ashley's discharge. Ooh. Betty sends her best wishes for a speedy recovery. Ah. There was an email this morning. Hey, how's she getting on with Mustache Man? Well, they were about to go on yet another boat trip round the barrier reef, so I assume they're still in that honeymoon phase. <laughs> well, I still await an invitation to visit. Is Australia ready for you, though, Sandy? <laughs> I couldn't leave Edna. <laughs> Don't be facetious. What time are we expecting, Ashley? Harriet's breaking him out at 1100 hours. Hey, Vanessa, you never know, you might bump into him. Oh, uh, it's my scan today, which is why I'm sat here drinking water. Well, I... I hope that everything is as it should be. Thanks, Edna. Oh, hey. Ready to roll? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Just Kieran's having sleepovers with his new floozy already. Oh, yes. I honestly didn't think you'd move on that fast. Well, it just proves that he never deserved you. I just... I can't help really missing him. Mm -mm. Let's banish those thoughts and focus on the baby. Because soon enough, Kieran is going to be history. Trust me. Yeah, Eric, of course there's going to be a special birthday dinner. And... You... No. No, it's not going to be a steak or Valérie. Um, oh, right, anyway. Uh, Val's here with the um, shopping list. Got a dash. Wow. I'm literally lost for words. Is she fabulous or what? I should work in that beauty salon. It's Eric's birthday present. Mwah! Plus, we're going to do some boudoir photographs. Ah, uh, uh, we. Oui. My chief stylist. And my snapper extraordinaire. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I am rubbish with photos. Honest, I'll chop you off. Uh, it's not a red we're interested in. <laughs> Still alive, then? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. No visit in order for months. Did you not get my messages? No, I think she's forgotten him, the poor kid. What, it's been a bit difficult? You don't understand. Difficult? And how do you think it's been for us? We've all been worried sick. Could you not even manage to drag yourself to the phone? That's why I wanted to do this face to face. Do what? You have enough thing in your cell, mate? You joined a cult? No. You know, I really thought 
that being here would make you appreciate what's important, your family. I do. That's why it has to be you, Debs, OK? Cos God knows I had no part in you growing up like you did, but I am so proud that you're my daughter. Oh, no, I mean it. OK? Babe, I have missed you so much and I'm gutted that I can't be there for you. Me too. I could actually really do with your support, which is never a good sign. Well, it's probably for the best because right now I'm not going to be the most popular person. Neither am I. I'm marrying Pete. Decent, good, honest Pete. Who I know will never hurt me. So? I'm cheating on him. With his brother. Ross! I've really done myself proud this time, Mum. Wonderful to have you back. You look well, really well. So do you. Perfect timing. Edna's created a stew for you to die for. I did say no fuss. Oh, you can eat it whenever. We're not staying. I've to meet the relief vicar, Clive. He rides a motorcycle. But he's very efficient. Ha! Behold! The walking miracle! He has risen again. <laughs> Sorry. We all thought you were a goner. Hate to disappoint. Felicitations on your birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Unfortunately, you can't buy me a drink. Valerie and I are having a quiet one in this year. It's a surprise, but there's a uh, knees up at the woolly. Val couldn't resist. <laughs> Where better to show your face? Except he's under doctor's orders to take it easy. Well, he's hanging out with a few pensioners, not a teenage rave. <laughs> I clearly need to prove I'm not in the hospital morgue. You are entitled to a lunch break, you know. It's important. I'm a solicitor. I got your letter. Wasn't from me. About the mediation, you know what I mean? Why can't we carry on as we are, sorting it between each other? Yeah. What use is some mediator going to be, any well, road? If you don't like it, talk to your solicitor. Oh, no, you haven't got one, have you? Well, we will do now. Well, I'm probably a bit late, to be honest with you. Cos mine reckons I'll have Archie living with me by Monday. So get used to the idea. <sighs> you think it's funny, do you? Trying to play mum and dad with my son? How dare you think you're better than me? Oh, come on, let's leave it. Well done. Winding her up for no reason. We both know that mediation has got nothing to do with getting a residence order. It's not my job to tell her that. It's a game, Megan. I turn up the heat, she shows herself up for the scum that she is. But what's the rush? I mean, you're not kidding yourself that this is going to get sorted in a week. Well, why not, eh? I am sick of having my life dictated by other people. I want what I want. Is that a crime? Oi! Drop your phone down the bog or something. No. Well, then answer when I text you. Or else I might think twice about letting you sleep over. Sorry, I've been dead busy all morning. I've been on my own. Debbie treats you like a doormat. How come she just waltzes off whenever she wants? Her paperwork needs doing, she reckons. Hmm. That or she's having makeup sex with Pete. What? You said they'd had a row. Well, why would I care? Listen, you stand around gossiping if you want. I've got things to do. You know what, Ross? Forget later on. I'm not in the mood. I do, half the time. Which is why it's so stupid, because I love Pete, I really do. Right, well then take your finger off self-destruct and stop this right now. Do you not think I haven't tried that? All right, it's not just me, it's not one-sided, it's Ross as well. Of course it is, because he's a massive egomaniac, he's got nothing to lose. Well, just Carly. I'm sorry, what, he's got someone else on the go as well? Only because he can't have me. No, Debs, 
You think about this before you make a massive mistake. Don't throw everything away over some little slime ball. Right, Declan doesn't count. When you left Dad for Jay... Oh, come on, you can't seriously be basing decisions on me. No, I'm not, but I just want your side, right? Because if I've had Dad's side, dissing you and him, talking up Moira like some healthy option... Oh, is he now? So suddenly your dad's a relationship guru. Well, who knew? No, but she's good for him. Isn't she just like Pete is good for me? I don't even know why I'm doing this to him. Yes, exactly. Because you need reliable and strong. Because if things are bad now, they're going to get a whole lot worse. Oh, thank you. Positivity, just what I needed. Already? No. I know, I haven't finished. Well, it's your own fault, isn't it? You should have seen me before. Can you come again next week? Well, it depends, Mum, if you're going to ignore me again. Debs, please. No, Mum, I've got to go. Debs, wait. Ow! 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 Ah! Mum! What are you looking at now? How I thought my wacko ex and won. Don't you think you're getting obsessed? I am Googling mediation. <laughs> Just the words parenting plan are going to freak Rachel out. Right. Well, one up to you. Or should I say us? Since the girl thinks I'm persecuting her too. Oh, do you know what? I can't stand to see you gloating anymore. I'm going to go back to work. I'm already late. Is it just me, or has it got a really massive head? You mean the whole E.T. thing's not normal? Oh, of course it is. He's just got a bit catching up to do, that's all. And cuteness alert. It was sucking its thumb. Oh. It's funny. I never thought Adam would be the one to make me a granny first. Mm, this isn't exactly ideal. At least she's got over the G word. She's been hitting booties next. Don't push it, Chaz, or you know where I will stick that needle. Uh, hello. <laughs> Baby in a womb. Less violence, please, ladies. Seriously, though, I'm up for doing as much or as little as you want. You just say the word. Thanks, Moira. And you. Thanks for coming with me. I'm kidding, aren't you? It's an honour to be asked. And <clears throat> if you're looking for a birthing partner, I'm your woman. Oh, you are so going to regret saying that. Yeah, I know. Don't hold me to that, will you? It's not the same, though. Everyone in that waiting room were a couple bar us. I guess it's just sinking in. Come on, let's go. But I haven't finished my drink yet, and what about the chips you ordered? No. Look, you're a great girl. You are, I'm just... I'm not feeling it. Sorry. I... I'm sorry about the money. That should up, so. I don't know what I was thinking. I know I'm done the way. Ah, apart from trespassing, stealing our property. You're only saving grace is that I found out about that stupid fight club. Miss Debbie, she's in the hospital with her mum. Say the surgeon. This must be how Mario Testino feels. Uh, you're my Super Mario pet. You've definitely got a gift. I should pass you on to Diane and Doug. Uh, yeah, please don't suggest that again. <laughs> ah, so now I know what sous vide means. I must hasten to the hot stove. <laughs> oh, warm bath at 60 degrees. Sous vide. The food hardly matters, my ravenous man. And you won't be disappointed. I promise you that. Yeah, so long as you're not planning any further extravagance. You're fully aware of the cost of this Mexico trip, dear Valerie. Any superfluous spending will not go down too well. Fear not. Any extravagance will not be of the financial kind. <laughs> oh, has your fan club deserted you? Oh, if you mean Ellie, I've been there. Did you actually, though, or are you just treating her mean? Yeah, what would you care anyway? I'm prioritising my revision, which is what you wanted. Wise move. There's plenty of time for socialising after your exam. Yeah, you're killing it now, Dad. OK, OK. Don't wait up. Get a good nice rest. Wilco! How you doing, bro? Yeah. Now listen, put the word out. Party at mine. Look, Victoria's away for a few days, so at least there won't be any awkwardness over the bar, okay? 
Or you could just bail and stay here. People will understand. No, 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 I'm fine. I just feel bad about ditching Arthur on my first night home. Well, he's with your dad for a few hours. He's fine. And should you be going to a booze-up? Aren't you supposed to be avoiding all that? Well, I can't keep away from the pub forever, so it's going to be virgin spritzers from here on. Look, actually, I know this is a big deal, and you're always in control, but things have changed now. Now, nothing is more mortifying than being paralytically drunk in front of everyone. Trust me, I know. So if I can walk in there with my head held high, then so can you. You know, these people are your friends, and they've missed you. OK. Don't say you haven't been warned. <laughs> is that it? Oh. Keep us hanging on for ages and then bung us in here. We need to know what's going on. I'll go back to the desk. No, the receptionist said to wait. Yeah. What for? She don't even know which department she's in. Perhaps just said it was urgent. Well, it could be anything, couldn't it? An accident. Charity's no martyr. She won't get ill and not tell us. Just wish we could have seen her before now. Well, that's not our fault, Lise. We did everything except battering the door down. Yeah. Uh, phone her Debbie again. Huh. I'll just try to. Still voicemail. What's going on? It's Mum's. She was pregnant. back to Emmerdale in half an hour.